Hey guys, and welcome to this video on small o, also known as little o. In this video, we want to prove that 9 times n belongs to little o of n cubed. Now below this problem statement in the green rectangle, I have the definition of what it means for a function to belong to little o of another function. Now it states that a function that we call f of n belongs to, and this is the symbol for belongs to right there, little o of another function that we call g of n, if for any real value, constant value that we call c greater than zero, there exists an integer k such that f of n is less than our constant c times g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this problem. So the first thing that we need to do is identify our function f of n and identify our function g of n. So f of n is going to equal 9 times n. And I got that from right here in the problem statement. And the function g of n is going to be equal to n cubed. And I got that from the problem statement here. Okay. Now, let's rewrite the statement that we want to prove true, which is f of n is less than c times g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right. And now let's plug in for our function f of n, 9 times n, and let's plug in for our function g of n, n cubed. So if we rewrite the equation now, it will look like this. We get 9 times n is less than c times n cubed for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right? So now we must show that that for any constant value that we call c, there exists an integer k that makes this statement true. So let's go ahead and try to solve for k. Now to do that, what I'm going to do is divide both sides by n. So if I rewrite the equation now, we get 9 is less than c times n squared for all values of n that's greater than or equal to k. All right. And then let's divide both sides by our constant c. So if I rewrite the equation, we get 9 divided by c is less than n squared for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right. And now let's take the square root of both sides. So if we rewrite the equation again, we get the square root of 9 divided by c is less than n. And this is true for all values of n that's greater than or equal to some value k. So what would make this statement true? What does k have to equal to make this whole statement here true? Well, k needs to be a number um, that's greater than the square root of 9 divided by c. Because then this will be true for all values of n greater than or equal to the square root of 9 divided by c plus some other value, right? Because we want it to be we want k to be greater than the square root of 9 divided by c. So k needs to be the square root of 9 divided by c plus some other value. And that will always make this statement true. All right? So let me get rid of that. So I hope you guys understood that. And we're going to choose k 
we're going to choose a k value that's greater than the square root of 9 divided by c. And I will give an example like uh, k equals the square root of 9 divided by c plus 1. All right. So as long as we're adding a, uh, a positive number, then a positive integer value, then that's going to always be true. Okay. All right. So let me just show you guys that this is true. Um, we have actually already proven that uh, f of n belongs to the little o of g of n. And I will write that here. I'm going to put in three dots here. I'm going to put therefore before I show you guys an example of us using this k value. So therefore, f of n belongs to little o of g of n, which implies that 9 times n belongs to little o of n cubed. All right. So that is our answer. We have proven this now. But again, if you guys don't see this yet, I'm going to show you just a few examples. Um, you could choose any value for C, and you will see that that statement will always be true. So I'm going to choose one example, and we're going to choose a value for C. Okay. So I have to choose K. Oh, let me... Uh, I have to rewrite that so I can remember this. I have to choose k greater than 9 divided by c, the square root of all of that. Okay? So we're going to erase all of this up to here. Okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to replace the k value here on that. Um, on that equation, we're going to make it the square root of 9 divided by c plus 1, because that's a value that's greater than the square root of 9 divided by c. All right, and now we need to choose a value for c. So I'm going to choose c to be equal to 9. This is just an example. And so now, if we rewrite the equation, we get 9 times n is less than 9 times n cubed for all values of n greater than or equal to the square root of 9 divided by 9 plus 1. And if we rewrite this again, we get 9 times n is less than 9 times n cubed for all values of n greater than or equal to 1 plus 1. And now if we divide both sides by 9 times n, we get 1 is less than n squared for all values of n greater than or equal to 2. Now this statement is always true, right? The the statement here, 1 is less than n squared, will always be true for all values of n that's greater than or equal to 2. All right, Because n is just going to keep increasing. So it will never be equal to or lower than the value 1. All right, And again, you can plug in any value for c now. And using that k value, the square root of 9 divided by c plus 1, and the, the statement will always be true. Okay? So thank you guys for watching. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe others will find it helpful as well. And as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.